Six News exclusive. Dash cam video emerging of Pennsylvania State Police troopers arresting a man that they say led them on a high speed chase in Center County. Now, his defense attorney is saying in a court filing, one of the troopers assaulted him while taking him into custody. We warn you, some of the images we're about to show could be disturbing. This is that video from a trooper's cruiser on December 6th of last year in 2023. This is off of I-80 in Boggs Township. State police say they tried to stop this white Chevy Tahoe for following a tractor trailer too close. They say the driver then led them on a chase before exiting the interstate and stopping on this rural Center County Road. We'll have more on that in a moment, but you can see in the video the driver put his hands out of the car before one of the troopers appears to strike him at least eight or nine times as they try to pull him out of his car. It also appears his seatbelt was still holding him in place. Now take a look at this. This is Derek Ramey's mugshot following that arrest. You can see his left eye appears to be swollen shut. He was charged with fleeing and eluding police, as well as the possession of drug paraphernalia and DUI. Gary Sinderson uncovered this story and is following it for us tonight. He joins us live with what led up to Ramey's arrest and what his attorney is arguing in court. Gary. Yeah, that's right. We have been following this case for a while. In fact, we just obtained recently that dash cam video, and there is much, much more to the story than just that video. Now, on the record, very little, in fact, nothing is being said about the case on the record, but we have obtained other information through court documents and other documentation presented in this case so far. The primary question remains here. The key question, is this an appropriate police response? Last December 6th, just outside of Milesburg Center County, 45-year-old Derek Ramey of Memphis, Tennessee, with his hands already outside the vehicle, is about to be removed by Pennsylvania State Troopers with guns drawn. Ramey is 5'8 and 170 pounds. Troopers claimed after his vehicle was stopped, he resisted arrest. Ramey, seen in the video, punched multiple times, including in the eye, which is swollen in the mugshot. In the preliminary hearing after the arrest, his attorney asked one of the troopers if that's a policy of the Pennsylvania State Police to punch a suspect in the eye. That question is never answered. Court documents we obtained do provide the police account of what happened before the traffic stop. In the criminal complaint against Ramey, Trooper Shane Eichelberger says he and Trooper Joshua Jaworski were on patrol on Interstate 80 on the morning of December 6th. They say Ramey's vehicle was observed changing lanes and then following too close to a tractor trailer. Too close translates to unsafe driving behavior and the attempt to stop Ramey. But instead, according to the troopers in the arresting affidavit, Ramey takes off and a high speed chase ensues speeds up to 100 miles an hour, which goes on for nearly 20 minutes. Ramey eventually gets off the interstate at the Milesburg exit, ends up on rural roads, hits dead ends, and is finally stopped on Moose Run Road. Please stress the high speed and his driving at times in the wrong lane, Ramey could have easily caused a crash or killed someone. Here on McNamara Drive, police say an object thrown from Ramey's vehicle is a digital scale commonly used in drug transactions. According to state police, a small bag of cocaine was found in Ramey's vehicle, which the affidavit says he admits he used while driving. Troopers asked Ramey why he took off. Why are you running? I ain't just kidding, but I ain't from here. I'm thinking, I see so many people getting shot. Yeah, hey, you're for we're, we're cool, man. We're not, we're not those guys. Troopers say Ramey claims he was delivering medical supplies in Pennsylvania when stopped. The charges filed against him are based on the chase and resulting stop. On December 13th, Ramey's preliminary hearing is held in Center County Court. Transcript shows Trooper Eichelberger testifies that Ramey passively resisted getting out of his vehicle, and the trooper doesn't want to comment on whether Ramey was punched while handcuffed. Those transcripts show the trooper also commented on how Ramey was thrown to the ground, saying, quote, he was pulled to the ground. I don't know if I would use the word slammed, unquote. Eichelberger says he was busy taking Ramey's passenger into custody without incident. Eichelberger also testified he initially didn't know Ramey was black before he was stopped, saying he didn't see his face. Ramey's criminal record is an issue in resetting his bail. According to the assistant district attorney at the hearing, Ramey has an extensive criminal history in Mississippi and Tennessee, including multiple arrests for fleeing and eluding and drug-related charges and in 2020 charged with human trafficking. 
We asked the state police for a comment on the stop and procedures. They tell us since the case is still pending in court, there's no additional information they can provide, but they did add, quote, it is important to note the nature of the incident automatically generated an internal investigation, which is still active, unquote. A third court document we obtained is a motion filed by Ramey's attorney to suppress evidence in the case. It claims the police video of the initial chase doesn't show Ramey following any vehicles too closely, and the resulting action by police was illegal. We also contacted Center County District Attorney Bernican Torner's office. He tells us at this point they have no response, no comment. But remember that pretrial motion that was filed is expected the DA's office will file a response to that. A hearing on that issue is scheduled for early April. And of course, we will continue to follow this case here on Six News. Gary, what can you tell us about Ramey's condition and where he is now? So immediately after the traffic stop, Mr. Ramey was taken to Mountain Indy Medical Center for what's termed a blood draw. Remember, he told police he had been using a little bit of cocaine. They did a blood test on him, and that's where the DUI charge came from. He was jailed here in Center County Prison for a while. He apparently made bail. We're told he is now back home in Tennessee awaiting for that possible trial date. Live in Center County, Gary Sanderson, 6 News.